your watch. Did you, uh, did you know you've got a cabby toy on the bar? Oh, is that what it is? I wonder why I wasn't talking back. Uh, it's probably fussy who it talks to. You're limping. You're on the ball this morning. What happened? That thing did. It was on the floor and I fell over it. Yeah, well, that's understandable. I mean, it's a bit difficult to spot, isn't it? Yeah, well, I blame you. Me? Yeah, if you bought Vicky some toys, Sharon wouldn't have to, then I wouldn't fall over it. Hang on, is this for Vicky? Well, it ain't for me, is it? Where is she? Upstairs, I'll have a word. She's gone out. I'm sick of it. She's your kid. You bring her up. Oi, I do bring her up. Oh, yeah, what about the holidays and the education? I didn't ask for any of that. Sure. You shut your face, you. I don't ask anyone for anything. But you know what really bugs me? Oh, you tell me. You go swimming off back to school and everyone pats you on the back when it's fine if that's what you want to do. All your new little school friends, they look up to you. It's a uh, university, actually. But then, uh, you ain't got any money, but that's all right. Because Sharon will bung you a job. In fact, Sharon will bung you a holiday if Vicky flutters her eyelashes. Ooh, who's a bitter little boy, then? <laughs> what, you think you're better than me because you've got half an O-level and Rachel lent you some books? Oh, Grant, I think earthworms are better than you. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something for free. I may not have any qualifications, but no kid of mine's ever going to have to depend on charity. I'd die before I let that happen. You know, you are so thick, Grant. Has it ever crossed your tiny little mind that Sharon and Vicky... Oh, what? Forget it. No, come on, what's Sharon got to do with Vicky? No, you work it out for yourself, Einstein. In the meantime, you run your own poxy bar. 